Hi, this is our Pet Smart Cat Condo Care training video. So we're going to give you instructions on how to take care of our off-site cats. We have two locations. One is on John Young, the other is on in Ocoee. So this is our John Young location. Both stores have eight cat cages available with cats that are up for adoption. In this cabinet at John Young, we've got our treats, toys, wet food, adoption binder, trash bags, and some pens. In the larger cabinet, you've got towels, blankets, dry food, litter, and cleaning supplies. Um, and then at John Young, we have an extra cabinet in the back near the restrooms that has extra litter boxes and sometimes extra towels. Then this is our Akoi store. This one has a sink, which is really convenient. This is an overflowing towel basket. Please do not leave the basket of dirty towels like this. It is no fun to have to get them down. If the towel basket is full, please just bag up the dirty towels and then start a new bag. Um, so now we are going to work on cleaning a cage. It's usually easiest if you can take everything out of the cage, clean the cage, and then put everything back in. To get the litter out of the cages, we have um, brushes in the cabinet that you can use. And then to wipe down the cages, we are going to use diluted Excel and a paper towel. Since the cage is occupied with the cat, we're going to spray the paper towel directly and then wipe down the cage with the paper towel. Please don't spray around the cats. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a little spot clean to make the cage look nicer. Um, and now we're going to work on his towels. In most cases, you're going to reuse the towel. You can just shake it out if there's any litter or hair and then fold it and reuse it. In this case, since it's soiled, we're gonna put it in the dirty basket. Again, if that basket is full, please take the bag down, tie it up and then get a new bag and then give him a new towel. We're gonna do the same thing with his blanket since it's inside his litter box. Even if you're putting the towel in the dirty laundry, please shake it out of any litter so the litter doesn't clog up the washing machine. And then these toys, I'm gonna to take them out and wash them. And then you dump the litter completely and then refill it. It's really important that you not overfill the litter we clean the cages daily so it doesn't need to be super full. Just a sh short layer at the bottom so they can use the litter for the day. If it's over full, it, the cage just gets really messy and it's really wasteful. Now we're going to take out his food and water. Um, so for the water, we're going to take the water bowl off of the hook and then dump it into the trash can. You can wipe it out with a paper towel if there's any debris and then refill it. At Akoi, you can take the water bowl off, rinse it in the sink and then refill it in the sink. It's a bit easier. Um, and then make sure each cat has a full bowl of food. And then the final thing you're gonna do is give the cat wet food. Most of the wet food will already be in these little plastic containers, so you can give it to him directly. And then each cat should have some toys left in his cage. The plastic toys are usually easier, they're easier to clean and don't contain any choking hazards. It's very, very important that kittens not get any toys with feathers or strings or anything that they can rip off and choke on. So this is an example of a clean kitten cage. He's got age appropriate kitten food, toys that are safe for him, and it's nice and tidy. 
This is an adult cat food, so the cat food is a bit different. And then before you leave for the day, make sure that all of the cages are locked. This keeps our cats safe and it keeps people from opening the cages inadvertently. Um, and then this is a dirty cage that needs to be reset. So this, it looks like the cat was adopted before we came in. Um, so we are gonna take everything out of the cage, sanitize the cage, sanitize the litter box and bowls, and then put the towels in the laundry. Any like paper towel tubes or toys that can't really be washed will just go straight in the trash. Any plastic toys can be washed when you wash the litter pan and bowl, so we can reuse those. And then you're gonna spray the cage out with the diluted Excel. Make sure you're spraying the bottom sides and top. And then the bowls you can take off, dump into the trash can and then clean. Including the food, we're not gonna reuse that food. And then give the cage a very thorough wipe down. Make sure that you don't forget the front of the cage, so you're going to clean the bars and the bolt attachments. Please leave the bolt attachments on the cage. They can break pretty easily, so just wipe them down to clean them off. Um, and since there's not a sink in, a co or in John Young, this is where the sink is located. It is right next door in the employee break room. So now this cage is ready for the next cat. It has a clean towel, a clean litter box, and clean food bowls. So if there is anybody who wants to see a cat, you are more than welcome to let them. Please make sure they sanitize their hands and interact with the cat in the cage. Please do not take cats out of the cage, not even wrapped in a towel. So this is the adoption binder at John Young. This will have the key to open cages. And then it will have the cat's paperwork, which is labeled by cage number. If you have anybody interested in adopting, you can pull this out, let them read over all of the information. The very last page will have the offsite adoption agreement. They can fill that out and you can have a PetSmart associate or a manager finish the adoption for you. Just remember that all adoptions are cash only offsite. This is an example of a kennel card. Um, there's not very much information on it, so you can fill out whatever you want to let people know about our cats. And then when you're done for the day, please remember to sweep the cat room and then bag up the trash and take it out. The trash will go to the very back of the store. Those garage doors will have a trash can next to it. You can simply leave the trash in them and then you're good to go. And I wanna thank you so, so much for taking care of our offsite cats.